New tonight, one of the hardest hit areas from last week's storm is already getting soaked. KION weather forecaster Erica Rattin is in Santa Cruz tonight where the rain has returned. Hey, Phil. Yeah, the rain has been off and on throughout the evening. I would say in the last 15 minutes or so, I have been under a steady but light rain. Now, even though this rain is not heavy or staying in one spot, it certainly is adding to the hefty rainfall totals. After a little break from the active weather, the rain is back. Adding to the already waterlogged ground from last week's storm, that brought areas of the Santa Cruz Mountains over 10 inches of rain, flooding and debris flows. Intense watching it, we stay up on the top of a big hill, so we had a bunch of slides happen all around our driveway. And we got a lot of rain. We had uh, rain over half an inch an hour for all night, and you know, the streams came way up. Lachlan Wind went up seven feet overnight, which is pretty amazing. One Boulder Creek homeowner who lives just downstream from the CZU burn scar captured the moment flash flooding started to occur in Foreman Creek, just feet from his home. I heard the noise and at first sometimes you hear a truck going by the on the road and it was a, a rumble kind of like that. And after about 10 seconds, I decided to step out and take a look. Boulders and giant logs collided, eventually taking out a power line moments after Owen left his property. Seeing the creek's intensity was something he hadn't seen before. It's never been anywhere near that high in our experience. Like we've heard some stories from our neighbors of, of when things have risen in the past. Unlike last week, these next few systems look to be less intense. Most say they're not usually concerned when storms hit. People that live out here are a little prepared. You know? No, rain's probably the least of our worries. It's probably fires that are a bigger thing. While others say natural disasters are part of the risk that comes with the territory. It's nature. We're living in a nature, and uh, if things happen, then happens. We expect it to live in the places that we might see fire, flood, all kinds of things. However, there are still concerns about consecutive days of light to moderate rainfall. It's still just more weight coming in, so you know it all accumulates to a spot and that eventually does something with corrosion, so it's worrisome. The worries, I'm told, all depends on where you live and what you live next to. Most welcome the rain and hope that a wet winter will put a damper on next year's fire season. Reporting live from Felton, Erica Bratin, KIOM News Channel 546. All right, Erica, stay dry. Thank you.